How's it going, guys? Max here. Yesterday, Jami just released the Mi 11, and wow, this is a highly specked phone. The device was unveiled yesterday in China, and wow, we got some groundbreaking specs, especially with the display. Gosh, this is a 6.81 curved uh, OLED. That's a 2K display, 1440p display with 1500 nits of brightness the iphone 12 pro max maxes out at 1200 nits and it also supports 120 hertz at 2k which is great and uh, 480 hertz touch rate, touch sampling rates that's for when you're playing games for it to be more responsive then 515 pixels per inch the e4 material the Corning Gorilla Glass Victus. This is the first phone to have it, the first Android phone to have it. HDR10 Plus support and Display Mate. Man, for now, as I'm saying for now, which is 29th of December 2020, this is the best display on any Android phone. Not just any Android phone, any phone. This is the best display you can get your hands on now. Then with the cameras, it's a 108 megapixel wide camera, which is also the main camera. Then a 13 megapixel ultra wide, then a 5 megapixel macro. I just hope that this is a reasonable 5 megapixel macro. 20 megapixel camera in the front. And previous Xiaomi phones have not done well with the selfie camera, so I really hope this one does. The first phone to have the Snapdragon 888 processor that we've been hyping. So packed with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of uh, ROM that's with the base storage that can be upgraded up to 12GB of RAM and 256GB of ROM. The battery is of 4600 mAh, we just hope that it holds up. If you are loving the video, a sub to the channel would be cool. Then over to the software, there's actually a big improvement too. Android 11 on top of Xiaomi's very own MIUI 12.5. This is the first MIUI 12.5 that we are receiving, which will be super great. Xiaomi have always been known for their haptic sensors, and they specifically said that they improved the haptic sensor on this one. So this should be one of the best Android UIs of 2021. And it will also have an in-display fingerprint sensor and this and that. And all these flagship specs, every single thing. We are getting the phone at around $610, so wow, that is wow. And you can also import the phone from China freely on Xiaomi's website, which has solved a lot of problems. Well, that's all for now. We're still waiting for the uh, real-world usage, which is already promising, and I know that it will be great. Um, please like, subscribe, give me your suggestions in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next one.